Now we have the 93 kilo open class. Lifters from all over the world are returning to the world championships to try to take that throne. Among the contenders that Jonathan Keiko will have to face, Chance Mitchell with an absolutely staggering deadlift. Gustav Hedlund, former junior world champion, European champion. Gavin Aiden from USVI, junior world champion. And Emil Krastev from Bulgaria. Just a murderer's row. And here he is, Jonathan Keiko, dubbed Mr. Perfect. He has gone nine for nine ever since 2019, despite the fact he's winning world titles and facing heavy showdowns every single time he grabs a title. Let's see how he handles 275 kilo. Oh, wow. With considerable ease. Yeah. Yeah, he's the best in the world in the 93s, but that's heavily contested tonight. Bulgaria's Emil Krastev, 285 kilos for him. He's a bit of a sleeper in this tournament tonight. It's easy to look past him, but I'm telling you, if he goes nine for nine and the other favorites start missing, he could easily snag a medal. Wow. It's easy work at 285 kilos. Yeah, I've been telling all the other contenders, do not look past this man. Up next, Gustav Hedlund from Sweden. 290 kilos on the bar for him. Gustav and Jonathan Keiko at the last World Championships went toe to toe and Gustav had the winning deadlift right past his knees and almost locked it out. This is his shot at redemption tonight. <laughs> like the impressive look, like, like a job well done. Now, Chance Mitchell from the US, 290 kilos on the bar for him. Let's take a look how he handles 290 kilos. Easy work. But not deep enough. Nonetheless, Gavin Aiden, 305 kilos loaded on the bar for his opening squat. Oh, wow. 305 kilos moves like an empty bar for Gavin Aiden. Put down his marker there for sure. Jonathan Keiko representing USA. Eight year veteran of the game. 290 kilos will await him. Nice depth. Picture perfect. What do you think, Chuck? A little bit more effort. The bar speed didn't slow down very much. Bulgaria, 300 kilos even. Pretty tidy. Yeah, very well controlled, but not quite as deep enough. Nice chance, Mitchell, US. Missed 290 on depth. Absolutely blew up 290. Not an issue of strength. But he went up to 305, and will that become an issue of strength now? That's loads better. It is better. Oh, two to one. I'm sorry, two to one. Reds to the side referee. The jury might be overturning that. Yeah, I can see the jury member approaching. Yes, Chance Mitchell is on the board. 307.5 kilos for a second attempt. He absolutely had no issues with 290. And he has not many. <laughs> 307. 307 moves like an opener, and Gustav Hedlund is on point tonight. Gavin Eden, 320 kilos. He is a squat machine. 15 kilos jump from his opener, which he had no issue with for. Oh, whoa. Beautifully done with 320 kilos. And Gavin Eden is on point. Now 300 kilos even, 10 kilo jump, 290 move very well. His squat form is so beautiful. When he needs to grind and fight for a rep, he hasn't missed in years. And he hasn't missed one today. And what did I tell you? Look at when he has to work, he works in the pocket. That's that from Bulgaria. 307.5, missed 300 kilos. He wants to stay in the hunt for a potential medal. This will move him up from squat rank 12 to three. That's how tightly packed these lifters are. Look at high risk, high reward. Went from 12th to third. Now he's in position to possibly hit a podium. With four squats still to go. Two of them world record attempts. Talking about a young man who missed an attempt, went up in weight regardless. 315 kilos, seven and a half kilo personal best.
Nicely done by Chance Mitchell, USA. Three white lights, and Chance Mitchell is gaining momentum. Gustav Hedlund, 317.5 kilos. This will guarantee him the squat bronze. Oh no! The rest of the, all the other national teams in the warm-up room are watching that. Gustav Hedlund is on form tonight. Gavin Aiden attempting a world record here. 331.5 kilos. He looks solid under the bar. I'm not certain of his depth. The depth is going to be questionable. That's hopefully that doesn't cost him too much in the bigger picture when it comes to the podium. America's Chance Mitchell coming out to 175 kilos. That was strong. Three white lights and a good lift for Mitchell. 195 on the bar. Gustav Hedlund, Sweden. Gustav Hedlund of Sweden opening up with 195 kilos. Gustav had a big 317.5 kilo squat going three for three and looked very confident. Let's see how he moves this. Yeah, let's see his face. Three white lights and a good lift for Hedlund. He's impressed. 200 on the bar for Gavin Aiden, US Virgin Islands. 200 kilos for his opening bench. Nicely done. Really easy. That's a good lift, a good lift, Aiden. Mil Krastev from Bulgaria. 207.5 for his opening bench. Gonna need a good bench session. And I think he's gonna have one. That was a good great lift, bench. Krastev. And now we'll load the bar to two Loads more left there. Defending world champion, pride of the USA, Jonathan Kaiko. 222.5 kilos for his opening bench. I mean, Jonathan, who keeps winning at the upper level, always wins very tight, sometimes right down to 0 0.5, so the chips do come in play. Chance Mitchell, 185 kilos loaded on the bar for his second bench attempt. That's a great second attempt. Yeah, three white lights. Gustav Hedlund, Sweden. Gustav Hedlund, pride of Sweden, 207.5 kilos for a second attempt. Still just a little bit under his personal best. Nice, but not too much left, I think. I think five would be marginal. U.S. Virgin Islands, Gavin Aiden will attempt 210 kilo. 10 kilo jump, 10 kilo below his previous personal best. It's a bit of work no, though. No, it was. There's a temptation because he missed the squat to try to cover ground with a five kilo jump, but if you keep missing your thirds, it really hampers the lifter's confidence. Emil Krastev, 217.5 kilos, two and a half kilos below his previous personal best. Three white lights. You know, I looked away just for a second. I glanced away and I missed it. It was so fast. At 232.5 kilos, and he doesn't miss, and he doesn't miss for a reason. He stays in the pocket. The bigger picture is the world title. Okay. I think it's there. I think it's there for taking. Chance Mitchell of the U.S. 190 kilos for his third bench. He needs to go six for six if he's going to win the title. Gustav Hedlund, 212.5 for his third and final bench. He's only ever hit 210 previously. And it's not going to go. Gavin Aiden up next, 215 kilos. We thought 210 was work. We thought he shouldn't try to go for his previous personal best. Locks those lats. And your sizable lats. Oh, whoa. Oh, I think he... Oh, my goodness. He almost had it, too. Mail Krasnev from Bulgaria. 227.5 for his third and final bench. Talking about people having good days. Emil definitely is. Picks up 10 kilos. Three white lights. 
and the silver medal. You know, a mill starting to turn into a podium threat here. Jonathan Keiko attempting a new world record 238.5 kilo bench. The chips are coming out. Jonathan has previously hit 242.5. Looks like he's done it. I think he has. Jonathan Keiko stays perfect. Six for six. Grabs the world record. Grabs the chip, which he might need in the end. Because guess what? Chance Mitchell is coming for him in the deadlifts. Gavin Aiden, U.S. Virgin Islands, opening with 305 kilos. He's hit 332.5. Nice looking opener. Yeah, that was smooth. What you had to lock out? From Bulgaria, Emil Krastev, 310 kilo for his opening dead. Easy. Next, returning world champion, Jonathan Kaiko, 317.5 kilos, batting a perfect six for six, not expecting any major troubles here? Oh wow, that's smooth. Yeah, that's a great opener. Yeah, his perfect streak was not gonna be threatened there. Sweden's Gustav Hedlund. Opening at 330 kilos. He'll already have an 855 kilo total and that's just 10 kilos shy of his previous personal best. That's smooth. Nice. He smiles at the top. <laughs> Gustav has pulled for the win before. Let's see if he's pulling for the gold again. 352.5 kilos for Chance Mitchell. Oh, oh he wobbled. Oh. It was unexpected. He knows it. He knows. That's what happens on sumo sometimes. Gavin Aiden, 320 kilos. He's hit 332.5, but he's not having the best of days. Too far. And this is surprising because Gavin has yeah. hit quite a bit more than this. Emil Klasnev from Bulgaria, 327.5 kilos for his second attempt. This will match his personal best. Oh, nicely nice. done. Emil might end up on the podium. And I told you coming in, he was a podium threat despite being nominated sixth. It, it breaks the total world record, John Vakaiko, with 335 being loaded for a second attempt. We're only in our second attempt, so there's a lot of lifting left to go. It's done. And it's there. A little bit of work. How much more is he got? He's never missed. That's always the first time. It depends how hard he's going to be pushing now. Gustav Hedlund from Sweden, 340 kilo for his second attempt. Oh. It's tough but smooth. It. Tough but smooth, I would say. 373.5 for Chance Mitchell. Missed 352.5, but this should be well within his means. I think it's the appropriate decision to make. He's here for a world title. He hits this. He's within shot. Here we go. Deadlift record. Total record. And first place all in the line. And it looks like Chance Mitchell has taken the lead. Chance Mitchell is now in the lead in pole position. This is trouble. Gavin Aiden missed 320, hitting 335 and a half. And the reason why he doesn't want to leave here without a medal, this will pull him onto the podium, if temporarily. A little more intensity and he knows what's on the line. Oh, it's better. Oh, I think he might have done it. He gets the down command. Nicely done, young man. Wow. What a gutsy kid. Now, Emil Krastev from Bulgaria will attempt 342.5 kilos. This will move him from fifth place to second place. Nice 
nicely done. What a wow. great day by a mill. That is a huge 877.5 by mill. Gustav Hedlund, 350 kilos loaded. This will pull him from fifth to third. He wants that bronze medal. Oh, just a little too much. That's a big surprise, actually. Leaves him in fifth place. And Jonathan Keiko of the US, 350 kilos being loaded. If he gets this, it's an 888.5 kilo total. Puts him in first place. Can he regain the lead on Chance Mitchell and then force Mitchell to load up the bar with more than he can handle when he pulls for the win? Keiko has not missed a lift in three years. And for the first time in a long time, Jonathan Keiko finally missed the lift, but he goes out on his shield like a champion should. Chance Mitchell essentially doing a victory lap with a 383.5 kilo deadlift. Here he comes. The deadlift demon has arrived. World deadlift record, world total record. He is already the world champion. Oh! Oh, his knee's locked a little early. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Take a bow, young man. Your 2022 93 kilo world champion from the USA, Chance Mitchell. I'm gonna remember this for years to come. Such dramatic turnarounds here where Keiko, undefeated after all this time, finally loses to the old adversary who he had defeated several times previous, Chance Mitchell. What a phenomenal session. Could not be happier with the outcome. There's a look at the one, two, three, obviously Chance. Emil from Bulgaria taking the silver. One kilo behind, one yeah, kilo. It was close. And Jonathan Keiko finishing with the bronze. Gavin in fourth, Gustav Hedlund in fifth. And that will conclude our session, ladies and gentlemen.